so i am my life yes i'm live i'm live so hello hello greetings everybody good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are joining me on the planet my name is june allen i'm a trauma therapist and i'm the founder of the art of greatness at juneallen.net so i hope your tuesday tuesday today i hope your tuesday is treating you well so today i want to hop on and talk to you in a bit more depth okay about the managing mother's day retreat that i've got on saturday i've kind of talked about it in bits and pieces over the last few weeks hi thanks for joining mind mappers um just generally you know in, in within regard to this, the content that i've been sharing in the past so today i thought i'd come on and share specifically about some of the things that you can expect some of the transformations that you'll have um you know what oh <laughs> what you can sorry i just knocked my phone what you can expect by joining us on saturday so if you don't know what i'm talking about um this saturday i have a half day retreat it's five minutes from brixton um and it's called managing mother's day i do this this is the second time i'm going to be doing this um this event i did it last year and it was really good so basically it's an event to help wounded black daughters figure out how to manage mother's day Quite often, if you have a difficult relationship with your mum, the conversation around, you know, healing the black mother wound, your relationship to your mum, all of that kind of stuff can be very challenging. There's still quite a lot of stigma around having those types of conversations in our community. And, you know, when I work with clients in session, there's quite often a lot of shame and a lot of anger and a lot of confusion around the best way to kind of not not just navigate mother's day but how to navigate the relationship how to take care of themselves and quite frankly like where to start you know there's not really that much stuff out there which is why i choose to to talk about this stuff more openly there's not that much stuff out there that really talks specifically about healing the the, the black mother wound and how you know incorporating you know systems of oppression and all of that um, how it impacts the relationship, you know, all of that stuff is not really uh, often talked about. So, you know, often the subject is more intensified and it feels a lot more painful um, when Mother's Day comes up because obviously, you know, there's people celebrating Mother's Day, you go on social media, there's loads of people saying really nice things about their mum and all of that kind of stuff, which leaves a lot of wounded daughters, again, feeling guilty, feeling ashamed, feeling confused, not really knowing how to look after themselves. Or the, the other thing is as well, is that they end up feeling um, like they have to abandon themselves, like they have to somehow pretend that everything's okay so that they can, they can kind of, you know, live out the fantasy that somehow the relationship is okay when it's not. So quite often the daughter ends up silencing herself and just kind of celebrating Mother's Day, even though what they feel inside is very different. So, you know, I do this this um, this retreat to give wounded black daughters an opportunity to really explore what the mother wound means um, and stuff like that. So today I just want to give you a bit of a breakdown around that, okay? So if you know somebody that you think might be interested in what I'm going to be sharing today, then please share it, tag them. Um, yeah, share it in their inbox if you don't want to kind of make it public. <laughs> Um, yeah, and just let them know that there, there is hope for this type of stuff. So I'm just going to walk through, you know, the type of things that we can expect. Okay, so the day is split up into two sessions, two sections, okay? Because it's called, it's, it's part of my um, my workshops that I call Heal and Chill, okay? It's a Heal and Chill um, <laughs> retreat. So it's half day. The first session is normally some sort of psychoeducation, something sort of, exp um, uh, what should we call it? Uh, like an embodied session where we kind of talk about different things. So there might be some psychoeducation um, and some exercises. There might be some journal prompts and stuff that we do during the first session so that we can unpack a, a topic. In this case, obviously, it's about healing the black mother wound. Um, I've been sharing a lot of content already from the workbook that comes with it. So, you know, if you look back through my my content on either on my Instagram or on my Facebook or, or even if you're on my email list, actually I've been emailing quite a lot of stuff as well. All of that stuff comes from a workbook that you'll get to accompany uh, the, the event on Saturday. So the workbook will cover, you know, how, what to, what, you know, get you to explore, like, where are you now? Where are you now in terms of your relationship with your mum? Are you no contact? Are you in contact? Is it minimal contact? You know, are you people pleasing? Are you know where are you with it? So, so you have an you have an opportunity to explore that. There were journal prompts inside the workbook that will talk that will walk you through 
to kind of figure that out okay then there's the um there's the bit about okay understanding specifically what is the black mother wound okay specifically what is the black mother wound? now if you've seen on my instagram there's that there's this chart i'm sure you've probably seen it on my instagram but that's in the workbook as well and we'll have an opportunity to talk about that um so basically this diagram it, it shows you the three layers that you need to that they're basically that you need to work with when you when you're talking about healing the black mother wind but if you go back into i did a live stream specifically about this um this diagram and about what exactly is the black mother wind if you go back um i think i did it last last week in my lives if you go back go back to last week you'll find the the live stream that i did specifically about what is the black mother wound and it will go into a lot more detail so um obviously in the rich on the retreat everybody will have a copy of this the the, the specific um diagram and we'll have an opportunity to kind of explore that and unpack it and, t and talk about it which bits resonate which bits is don't um because a lot of times this is the piece that gets missed the systemic bit the racism bit that bit often gets missed inside you know when we're talking about mother wound healing so it's really important to to include that bit as part of the conversation so that you get more of a holistic overview of the different things that are going to impact the, the the relationship okay so we do that there's some sort of psychoeducation like i was saying in the first part um what's also really great actually about the group session doing this working group is that it's an opportunity to kind of do some shame reduction work, you know, because like I was saying before, a lot of black women have a lot of shame around the relationship with their mum. I think that they're the only one that feels like that. And quite often what happens in the group is that, you know, the women hear somebody else talking about their experience with their mum. And I share my mother wound story as well. Um, the identification and really understanding that they're not the only one actually is very, very powerful thing that happens in the group quite often the women are there they think they're the only one that, that have experienced that you know if they're if they're having difficult feelings towards their mum um, they feel angry towards their mum they feel like they can't say anything bad about their mum or whatever and it's not an opportunity you know it's not a space where people just come there and you know and just kind of bad mouth their mum and cuss out their mum it's that's not what it's about but there is space to get honest about their feelings to get honest about the impact okay the impact that the, the dysfunctional relationship has had on their sense of self, as, uh, on their well-being. You know, th these are the types of things that I see a lot, you know, in session with clients. You know, a lot of times their self-esteem is on the floor. They don't know who they are. They feel like they can only exist, you know, within the context of what their mum wants for them. And they, they, you know, they're confused and they're angry because they're not allowed to, um, they don't have that space in order for them to really find out, to really explore who they are because they've never really been allowed to. You know, the relationship with their mother has not allowed them to 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 form a, their own sense of self and to have their own values. It's really, all, it has, it's generally always about what the mother wants. And so that self-abandoning that happens as a result of, of needing to stay in the relationship with their mum, you know, they have an opportunity to really explore that and then start to really think actually, well, what what is, what do I really want? What do I really need? And stuff like that. So, you know, again, talking in the group and being able to listen to other women's experiences and having them kind of say things that maybe you're thinking and that you're thinking the only you're the only one is 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 very, very powerful. And also within the within the within the um context of also uh, you know, understanding their feelings and stuff like that, there's an opportunity to really start to name what's happening for them. To name what's happening to them in terms of how they feel. And even talk about the guilt or whatever or the shame that they might might feel you know again it's a not it's a space to be able to start to unpack that stuff if you've not, never done any any black mother wound work before this is a really good introduction to understanding it and if you actually want um if you want to get started you can actually go to my um website and i actually have uh, a free ebook a free mini ebook that you can download and there's there's the diagram is in there um that i just showed you and also there's some journal prompts, there's some affirmations, there's some stuff for you to think about in terms of Mother's Day and stuff like that. So if you want to get started, you can go to my um, go to my website or click the link in my bio, go to heal.juneallen.net. That's heal.juneallen.net. That's heal.juneallen.net. You'll have the opportunity there um, to be able to really start to explore, you know, what, what the mother wound is and, and all of that kind of stuff. 
Um, the other thing that we do as well in, in the retreat is I normally start with a really nice meditation as well because a lot of the women sometimes come in very anxious about what to expect, you know, who's going to be there, are they going to be judged and all of that kind of stuff. So I normally start the session off with a really nice meditation. Then we go into the, the, the group work that, that we do with, the, you know, the exercises and the sharing and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and that tends to start to alleviate some of the anxiety and um, also there's boundaries that I put in place as well to make sure that, you know, people don't comment on other people's shares and stuff like that, because it's important that you know, the women that attend know that the, what they say, you know, is true for them. And we don't want anybody else to be gaslighting them, judging them, comment, you know, criticizing what they're saying and, all, and trying to give unsolicited advice. We don't do any of that in the group. OK, that is not allowed. So th the women that come to the group, they feel they start to feel a sense of safety that they'll be able to kind of say how they feel. Um, and then, you know, I might share some therapeutic feedback or give some suggestions if, if they if required. Um, but ultimately, it's, it's, it's your process. It's your process. So if you haven't done any black mother wound work before, this is a really good opportunity for you to do some introductory work around this. If you've been doing your mother wound work for a while, maybe you've done some mother wound work, but you haven't done the black mother wound stuff. It's an opportunity for you to use the space to check in, check in with yourself. How did you feel, you know, compared to last year? Did you, you know, were you able to set boundaries last year? How do you feel about, you know, has the relationship with your mother changed since you've been doing your mother wound work or not? Maybe she's still the same. Maybe you, you know, may, maybe you decide that you want to put in more different boundaries this year or whatever. So it's a good opportunity for you to really check in with how you're feeling about the relationship and, 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 and figure out for yourself what's the next stage. OK, what's the next stage? So some of the other stuff that's in the um, that's in the workbook as well, which is really good. And we will talk about this in, in the um, in the retreat is how do you actually want to um, what what is your mother's day? How do you actually want it to look like? for you not just for your mom but for you okay how are you going to navigate the day what boundaries do you need to put in place do you even want to celebrate it you know something that's not always talked about is is the question around do you even want to celebrate mother's day do you actually want to spend time with your mom on mother's day or do you just actually want to set a boundary do you want to just not go because you're still in a lot of pain around it these are all things that are allowed to be discussed in the group because what's right for one person is not right for everybody else. And just because society says it's Mother's Day and you need to do this, that and the other, it doesn't mean that you need to be doing it. You've got to do what's right for you. OK, you've got to do what's right for you. So we talk about that. We talk about the opportunity um, or, or the the um, the option, OK, for you to even decide actually. I'm in a lot of pain around this and, and it's not right for me to do this. I don't really want to go and uh, don't want to go to my mom's house. I don't want to be around siblings that maybe your siblings have been gaslighting you and whatever as well, because it maybe just the space is just not safe enough for you this year. So you can talk about, OK, you're not going to go to your mum's. So we, we, we have the conversation around, OK, well, what does it look like for you in terms of self-care? How can you take care of your inner child on Mother's Day? What does that look like? What are you going to do instead? You know, so you get to plan some self-care for yourself on Mother's Day rather than put yourself in a position that feels unsafe. OK, so that's really important. The other thing that the workbook does as well. So the, with this workbook that you'll get if you come to the to the um, to the retreat is not just about stuff that we're going to be doing in the retreat, but it will help you plan before what you're going to be doing during Mother's Day and also afterwards. Quite often what happens after Mother's Day is that there's a load of grief that sometimes comes up. Yeah, there's sometimes a lot of grief that comes up after Mother's Day and the pain sometimes might it might be delayed. It might take time for it to come up and sometimes it comes up after Mother's Day. So there's there's again, there's journal prompts, there's things that you can do that I've put in here, um, resources and stuff. There's books that you can read um, if you want to continue working with me after Mother's Day, you can because on the, on the 27th of um, the, the retreat itself is on the 24th, which is this Saturday on Tuesday, the 27th, which is next week. Um, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth session online um, and it's specifically around um, boundaries, mother, daughter and boundaries. OK, so, yeah, healing the black mother wound and boundaries. So you can, you know, if you if you really enjoy this, the, the session on Saturday, then you'll be invited to come to the, um, you know, you, to come to the session on Tuesday. And then next month now we're going to be looking at grief. You know, one of the questions that I get asked all the time is how do you grieve the loss of somebody that's still alive? How do you do that? 
so next month we're going to be looking at grief and stuff like that so there'll be meditations there'll be journal prompts again there'll be a live session um there'll be you know resources and stuff like that in the virtual library that i will create in order to facilitate and show you how to what it means what does grieving mean for you and how to do it in a way that is gentle and kind um and and tender you know and and you'll have you'll have group support around that as well so yeah so that's basically what we're doing the first session the second session because it's called heal and chill the first session is about healing the second part of the the retreat is going to be about chilling so i thought it might be quite nice to create a retro inspired um uh space just for us to chill so there'll be different stations that will set up uh, that will be set up and then there'll be different games and stuff like that that we can do i don't know if they, you know i'm showing me age now but i don't know if you, any of you remember playing jacks you know these little metal things i don't know if you remember these little metal things so um i bought these off the internet which will be which will be fun i haven't played it for years but there'll be stuff like that to play um there'll also be a place where you can play with barbies i've got loads of barbie clothes and stuff as well so yeah so give it give you an opportunity for your inner child to kind of to come out so you can do these and there'll be coloring things that we can do as well there'll be you know i'll put some nice music on so it's going to be a really chilled afternoon so you need to bring snacks okay bring some lunch if you want some food bring some snacks i will also have some uh, retro sweets as well so there'll be lollies and sherbet dib dabs and all that sort of stuff as well um so that we can get into it but it's just an opportunity for you to to relax you can reflect on you know the stuff that we've spoken about in the in the previous healing session if you want to if you want to ask questions as well you can ask me questions about stuff maybe that you're struggling with or maybe you know what you want to do about um mother's day and stuff like that where you know how to move forward so yeah it's going to be really it'll be really interesting um a time you know for you to come and just kind of really look after yourself and allow yourself to be nurtured by other people oh there's a connect four as well they'll be we're gonna have a connect four i used to love connect four when i was a child so yeah so um if you if you if you really want to want to start doing your work on the mother wound if you want to explore how to look after yourself around you know mother's day and stuff like that click the link in my bio go to heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net you know the tickets are going to be available until um you know friday e late friday evening and uh, they give me a chance to kind of add up the numbers and all the rest of it it will be quite a small intimate group you know i don't anticipate you know there's going to be 50 people because it's you know i like it to be a small intimate group so therefore everybody gets a chance to share people feel more comfortable and stuff like that because it's not going to be in like a massive group so yeah i mean again like after the event you'll have the workbook with all the different uh, things that you can do in terms of making your care plan um your mother's day boundaries and um, some other stuff in the workbook as well learning how to manage the different parts of yourself because sometimes the different parts of you will have a different relationship to mother's day okay there'll be different parts of your inner self that will have a different relationship to mother's day so as an example maybe your inner child wants to do something different maybe your inner child doesn't want to celebrate mother's day but maybe the adult part of you you know that has more that might have, might have a bit more compassion for your mum or whatever might want to celebrate mother's day maybe your teen your angry teen is like hell no i don't want to go there you know so i'll show you how to how to how to explore all of the different parts of you yeah how to explore the different parts of you and the relationship that they have with mother's day and there'll be journal prompts and stuff in the workbook for you to think about so so the stuff that you'll the resources that you'll get is not just going to be about what we do on the day but it's going to support you before during and after and you you'll be able to you know figure out how you want to move forward with all of that okay so i hope that was really really helpful um and yeah it will give you some insight into how you can really really start to get honest with yourself and explore what it means to have a difficult relationship with your mom and how to how to you know start to look at how you can start to heal that heal the, the you know heal your own black mother wound okay so that's it for today um i've got a client in a minute so i'm gonna have to go but i just wanted to jump on and just share a bit more detail about what how the retreat is going to be um on saturday so if you'd like to join us again click the link in my bio if you're interested in joining me for the uh the sacred the sacred sister sanctuary on the 27th but maybe maybe you don't live in london you can't come to the retreat but you want to come on to the san the monthly membership sanctuary so that you can um do the work on boundaries next tuesday and then obviously next month we're doing the mother wound the black mother wound in grief you can join us for that okay 
Um, again, all of the links are in my bio. Just saying you can go to heal.gnisland.net. If you've got any other questions or anything that you want me to share on uh, around this topic that maybe I haven't shared before, and I've done a lot of content already around this, you know, please either drop a, you can either send me a DM or you can email me in com. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Why do I end it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, okay. There you go in here.